Hi and welcome to the video. This is part three and we're going to be looking at the uh, Sonoff 4 Channel Pro. Great little device. Uh, stacks of functionality on this one. Not only is it a Wi-Fi driven device, so using it via our app or via IFTT, Alexa and Google, we can all use, also use an RF input. So using this RF4 button key fob, we can control the device. Some other differences with the, this one. We have uh, uh, relays now on the outputs. So we have uh, normally open, common and normally closed on each channel. So great, again, adding extra functionality. We've got a set of contacts now rather than just a, a voltage output, an AC voltage output. Uh, superb. What can we do with it? Like all devices, we've got a remote control using our app on the, the cell phones or tablets. We uh, timing function again, like like previous we've seen. We've got a self locking mode. We've got an interlock mode and an inching mode. Uh, what we'll do is pause the video, and we will take a look inside and go look further at this. So now we've got the cover off. So what have we got? Four channels, four relays, and uh, say with this one we've got normally open, common, normally closed. So adding a bit more functionality, having contacts here rather than just pure outputs. We can see we've got the DC line coming in, we've got the AC line coming in, and our buttons for programming. This not only does it program the the Wi-Fi, this uh, we can program each channel to run on the, the key fob uh, and when we fire up we'll, we'll take a look at that. Uh, we've got the LEDs on this side so the LEDs stating the state of the relay but also we've got the LED at the bottom showing us the status of the Wi-Fi and the programming status. We've got some dip switches at the top here and uh, let's have a look at these because we've got some great functionality here. Here, this we've got this first one here. So this is S6, and with S6 we're going to change. We can change from interlock, which when we power up we can look at some examples of that, and then we can click it over, and we can go into self latching or self locking, should I say, and then inch mode. Again, we'll power it up and I'll show you some of the differences. Uh, we've got this one here, which is uh, K5. And K5, that all changes between inching. So if we've selected inching already, then we can go inching or we can go to self-locking mode. This uh, dip set of dip switches here, when we're using the, uh, the inch mode, so inch mode is like when you press a button on a key fob, so it's just one hit, one hit, one hit. So again, that, once we change these dip switches, we can go from 500 microseconds and we can change them all the way up and we can go up to 4,000 microseconds. So that's, what's that? That's half a second up to four seconds. So it'd be like pressing a key. So you can press once and it'll count. So it counts half a second all the way up to four seconds. This is going to be great functionality if we're going to start using it on garage doors or gates or we're going to replicate a key fob. So we'll pause the video, we're going to power it up and I'll show you a few more, uh, I'll, I'll show you some of the functionality. But just before I power up and I put the cover on, I'm just going to flip it over, I've just got it over, and we do actually have on the back here, if we get it the right way around, I do apologise, on the back here, so there you go. That will show you, that's a good, great explanation of all the dip switches. It, there's a pamphlet, there's a little sheet that comes in the uh, the uh, the box, but uh, I'll pause the video, power it up, and uh, and we can show you some of the, some of the uh, functionality of this product. So there we go. We've connected on this. Because I've got the cover off, uh, I'm only going to use a DC, so I'm using a DC input of 6 volts, so it's nice and safe, I can... Uh, poke around in here nice and safe. Never take the cover off this device if you're using the AC input. That's uh, a lot of volts, extremely dangerous. So, but this device can use DC, 
it's also AC. If you're going to be inside poking around, uh, programming it, for example, either power off or just run it on the DC. So I don't need I don't need to connect this up to anything particularly today because we've done it many times on many videos showing people turning on uh, swimming pool pumps or lights etc etc so what we can do is just show the output with the LEDs over here currently I have set this to go into uh, inching mode so I've set the dip switches for inch so here's an example so we're going to go over here to channel 1 and it would get an input countdown and switch off channel 2 gets an input counts down and switches off uh, so we so this could be via the app it could be via the uh, the RF key fob but also because it's an RF it's got an RF input we can use some of the other Sonoff devices. So we've got our window or door uh, proc switch or, uh, or read switch, electronic read switch or proc switch, whatever whatever you guys call these ones. Or you can use the the infrared sensor uh, to control it. So again, I'll just I'll just bring this up alongside what I've done hold this button down for sorry click this button twice for pairing and then connect the door switch so i've already connected the channel and here we go for an example open the door it alarms out counts remember counting down and off move that to one side There we go. It's counted. It's alarmed out and switched off. I'll show you that again because I caught it in my hand. Alarmed, counts down, switches off. So we can use the app, we can use Alexa, we can use Google, we can use our key fob, we can use the other sewn off devices, the, the proc switch, the door switch, the, the read switch, whatever, what, what um, they say he's got many names this one, but we all know what it is. Or we can use this particular sensor. This device has multiple inputs. So what I'm going to do now, I will power it down. I'll pause the video. I'm going to power down. And I'm going to change the state. So I'm going to change the program of this. So currently we're in... We're in inching mode, and I'm going to change it now to interlock mode. Okay. So I've powered it down, and I, I've moved that dip switch across there, the little white one there. I moved it across, and now it's gone into interlock. So what does this do? So currently we've got channel 2 on. We go to channel 1. So channel 1 comes on. This knocks off channel two. Go to channel three. One off, three on. Channel four. As you can see. Now this is interesting. So we've got channel three on. What if we get an alarm? So I will alarm out over here. See what we get. There you go. So look at that. We've alarmed out using the the door switch, the window switch, and that's then changed from channel three to channel one. So now that's permanently on. So we could we'd switch a light on, or we could set a scene. We could switch something on, something off. So great function. But not only that. So if we think about this, not only that, you can use these normally open and normally contacts. So again, you can go from an off to an on or a made to an open again let's go so we're going to go back channel one's on because that timed out remember that that was alarmed by the, the door switch now we're going to go for the 
the uh, sorry I do apologize for the uh, the IR alarm there you go so two was alarmed out knocking out alarm one uh, sorry channel one so just the functionality of it is just fantastic we've got the interlock mode we've got latching mode and we've also got self-locking mode so what i'll do again to get to self-locking mode now we'll go back we'll knock this one back across and then we'll change these dip switches here because remember these are going to change it from inching to self-locking so we'll change we'll change this one first then this one obviously when powered down and again we'll show some functionality of that okay so i've powered it back up I've changed the dip switches over here. So I've gone back onto self-locking with this particular one. And then I've moved this, this switch across here. I'll move this again across over. Powered it back up. And this is the difference where you get this time. So you'd get this from your app or, or from an external device, your remote control, or even your alarm sensors. Alarm switches, should I say. So on 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 so there you go so these now will just stay on so that's just typical uh, of uh, uh, the, some of the previous sewn off devices and until you get an, uh, a signal again they'll stay on uh, gets its alarm stays on go for the other sensor gets its alarm stays on and what we can do because we've got four channels here we're using channel one and two for these two devices but i'll just show you how we can program three and four so three we're going to click it twice one two and click there you go clicked a and we'll go to channel four, one, two. It's waiting for its signal. Got its signal B. So what have we got? Wi-Fi, app driven, Alexa driven, Google driven, IFTT driven, external devices driven, and also RRF key fob fantastic device it's just endless what we can do with this device this particular this particular device i'm going to be connecting up in the next month i'm going to be controlling uh, my garage door and fingers crossed i'll be also controlling the gates the electric gates so watch out for that video and uh, going back to the the garage door project or the electric gate project so we can program this up using the alexa app and uh, our ewe link app and so you could basically say uh, changing obviously we're going to change the dip switch again back so it's we want it to go back to inching mode so this is going to act like a button so it's going to be a button like you'd get on a key fob for a garage door alexa turn on the garage door okay. there you go alexa turn on the gate So there you go. So you can see the functionality there. So that's good. We can check again. We can change this time. We can we can increase that interval. We can make it a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. But we want to be realistic. We want to be like you would be pressing a, you know, a garage door or electric gates. So uh, look out for that video. But now let's pause this video and we're just going to have uh, a few minutes looking at both the apps. And in the uh, the final part of this video, we'll just show you connected up to the app. Uh, like all devices and uh, we uh, we must pair this using the Wi-Fi we pair it to the tablet or the cell phone and then from there we can connect it to uh, Alexa or Google or IFTT uh, shown this many many times before on the videos but I'll just briefly show you this time uh, really the app and, and these sort of the, the software side of it would deserve a, a video of its own but uh, we'll just briefly connect him up and uh, you can see it working. 
So as you can see, the LED at the moment is constant. It is connected to the Wi-Fi, but if it wasn't, it would be flashing slow. So what we do is hold down the button between five and six seconds and connect up to the app. And we'll use the app, we'll use the tablet again to show this app. We've shown this app many, many times. We've showed pairing before, but as you probably all remember, you'll press and hold the, one of the buttons here uh, up to seven seconds. The LED would start flashing rapid. If you hadn't seen it in Wi-Fi, it'd be slow flashing. It's constant at the moment, so it's seen the Wi-Fi already, but it would flash rapid. You'd come across the app plus next 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 and uh, then you're connected you can see i've already connected this one because i'm uh, this is part of an ongoing project for the the garage door and the the gate so i would open that up uh, as you can see there so click on that and you can see the apps the relays all working as i control that so that's pretty straightforward. And if you remember, the last configuration I put on this Sonoff 4 Channel Pro was uh, inching mode. So it would replicate the button on a key fob. And uh, we can also use Alexa to control this. Alexa, garage door on. Okay. There you go. And again, it's going to toggle like would replicate a uh, like would replicate a key. I'd say at the re risk of repeating myself, we really want to be doing a complete video just on this software. But what we'll do is quickly just briefly open uh, the Alexa app, and uh, I'll just quickly show you that. We'll shut this one down. Close that. OK, Google, open Alexa app. There is no incoming call. She always wants the button. So we've got the Alexa app open. Go to home. Smart home, you see him there. Click on smart home. And there you go. So... We've got all the devices, so as long as these two are paired, uh, EWE Link and, uh, and Alexa, uh, it just all comes up in your app. And then once it's up in the app, then her over there, I won't mention her name, she'll be able to control all these. Find any enabled video skills. There you go. go to the music video and book section of the Alexa she app. does Enable tend to interrupt. And then link your account and complete setup. I just wish somebody would do a video on how to keep her quiet. Anyway, so there we go. I say we're, we're probably going to do a whole video on this because it, it does deserve a whole video on setting up these if we've not done it before. But uh, Alexa, turn on the 4 Channel Pro. Okay. There you go. So we can turn her on completely, or we can uh, we can we can do each individual channel. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, please subscribe. And uh, for those who are subscribing, we're going to for the next two weeks. That's the last two weeks in March 2018. Uh, we'll be able to offer. I'll be able to get a link so we can get all these devices purchased and we can get a 10% discount so that's the last two weeks in March 2018 we're going to for all subscribers be able to get a 10% discount thank you very much for watching